Hi, everybody. My name is Vicki Lee. If you like my teaching, please like, share, and subscribe. We are talking about what failed relationships, what happens, how does fear destroy everything in its path? And it does. And so we are talking on this subject. My name is Vicki Lee. If you like my teaching, please like, share, and subscribe. And we have gone to the Bible for a verse that will help us stay centered as we speak about all these things. It is 1 John 4.19. It says, there is no fear in love. Think about that. But perfect love casts out fear because fear involves punishment. And the one who fears is not perfected in love. We love because he first loved us. So that's where we need to be to get out of these holes that we find ourselves in. And so we are going to the top 13 uh, fears or things that, that happen with all of this. Uh, we've talked about inflexibility. Uh, yesterday, we talked about selfishness and self-involvement. And today, we are going to talk about a main one, meddling by parents. <laughs> oh, is that ever a big one, isn't it? Now, if you don't have this problem in your life, you are fortunate. I have said, whenever my kids were raised, I watched some of the mistakes that have been made around me for years. And I said, I'm going to let my kids have their own chapters. And I have really endeavored to be a, a good mother and a good mother-in-law and to stay out of it and let them have, if they come to me, there are times where you take stands and whatnot, but then you get out of it and let them live their lives. But Meddling by parents and families can just be so toxic and it can be fear based. Okay. Meddling is not by parents, is not just for a relationship or romance. That can that can be in friendships, that can be in the workplace, that can be in um in just anything that you have. And I have seen where that happens, I have seen so much destruction and the older generation the parents should know better there was a lady that I knew years back and she was talking about her kids and whatnot and I just knew that was a train wreck coming and then all of the updates from that was an actual train wreck it it turned into a massive train wreck and I was trying to tell the mother you need to back off you need to stop the parents, the mother had losses and disappointments in her own life. And those losses and disappointments were causing her to be over interested in the direction of her daughter. She wanted to live her life properly through them. And it became too much. So if you have meddling parents, you need to get them out of it. If you're in an abusive situation where you need help from your family, that's something different. That's a different story. You need support systems sometimes, but you don't need meddling parents in your life. You need to grow up and become that. Do you need advice sometimes? Of course we do. Is there a, a wise advice that can be given? Of course there is. But the meddling is detrimental across the board. If you are a meddling parent, Stop it. Stop it. It's not healthy for your relationships. It's not healthy for your kids. And usually meddling parents, they don't have good advice to give because if you were if you were wise, you wouldn't be meddling in the first place. So I hope this helps everybody. If you don't have Jesus Christ as your Savior, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. He said it's for freedom that I have set you free. And that verse where there's fear. There's punishment. So this is a downward spiral. Everything is based to emotions, love or fear. Love casts out fear. Where there's fear, there's punishment. We see it in the news today. I hope the headline of your own personal life does not include this. And I hope this helps everybody. Have a wonderful day.